In this video, we'll be covering the different options your professor may use for their course materials. Specifically, we'll talk about pages, books, links, and files. A page resource functions as a web page that can host a variety of content, such as text, images, video, interactive activities, links, downloadable documents, and more. This resource is called a book. Like a collection of page resources, each chapter contains pages that can host the same variety of content. The sample content on this page includes text, a video, and links. All books have a table of contents block. The block allows you to see all the chapter names, and you can navigate from chapter to chapter by clicking on their names. You can also use the arrows at the top and bottom of a book page in order to navigate between chapters. Be sure to read all the chapters before you exit a book. Unless something is marked optional, consider all of the content required to view or read. Your professor may use a variety of links and files within a course. Here we have several examples of how the same lecture might be shared with students. First, there is an embedded video, which students can simply watch within the book. There is also a transcript for purposes of accessibility, which may be in the book as text or in a separate document that is hyperlinked. Then there are three more links in this example. Visually, you can identify these links because they are blue. They all look the same, but they behave differently. The first link is a downloadable file, in this case, a Microsoft PowerPoint. To save a copy of a downloadable file, click the link to the file. It will automatically download directly to your device. Open the file under your downloads and move it to wherever you want to save it. The second link is a file hosted directly in Moodle, in this case a PDF. When you click on it, it opens the file without requiring you to download it to your device. This is best for viewing a file without needing to save your own copy. To save a copy of a PDF file, click the link to open the file in Moodle. Click the arrow with a line under it at the top right of the file's window. Select where you want to save your file on your device and click Save. The third link is a URL, in this case a link to a Google Cloud file. When you click on it, it takes you to a web page. To save a copy of a Google Cloud file to your own Google Drive account, click the link to open the file in Google. Click File, then Make a Copy. Select where you want to save your file, then click OK. Your professor may not put their links and files within a book like this. Instead, they may be listed on the main course page. The functionality here is the same. You simply click on a resource and its behavior will depend on whether it's a downloadable file, a file hosted on Moodle, or a URL. In this example, we have links to a PowerPoint, a PDF, and a YouTube video. Note that when a link is on the main course page, instead of within a book, clicking on it may take you to the link's destination in the same window or in a new window, depending on the settings your professor uses. If you want to navigate back to Moodle, simply use the back arrow in your browser. Not every professor will have all these options for their course materials. You may only have downloadable PowerPoints or embedded videos or readings. This is just meant to give you some examples of what your course material may look like 